All right. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny kind of wintry day today. And you're not looking at the beautiful day because you're looking at my face. <laughs> and I do have some plasters on my face. Uh, I headbutted the reef while surfing yesterday. Uh, in small waves, it was nothing dramatic or exciting. Um, and I've now got nine stitches in my forehead, and I'm fine. Um, but this seems like a good opportunity to have a little uh, talk about, make a little video about risk. Um, because when I go surfing, you know, it is a slightly dangerous activity, and occasionally I get hurt, like here. Um, but what I don't have is somebody uh, close to me, or, or, you know, uh, one of the wife or one of my parents on the shoulder saying, hey, don't surf there, don't ride that wave, that's dangerous. Oh, go over there. Okay, ride that one, that's safe. Um, and yet, that's kind of what we find ourselves doing to our children in the park. Um, we'll be like, you know, don't climb on that, that's dangerous. I'll stop, no, no, no. And we, we get kind of, we get a little bit bossy, don't we? And yet, what I want to point out to you is that is one how you'd feel if that was being done to you like you know i think if you know somebody was hovering on the shoulder telling me which waves to ride and which waves not to ride i uh, ride i'd get uh fairly irritated fairly quickly i think ow <laughs> that's to raise my eyebrows um and so of course that's the same is true for our children uh, in the park, you know, we, we kind of need to um, step back and not irritate them with don't do this, don't do that. Uh, but also, we, we need to trust their instincts and their judgments. They don't want to hurt themselves, just like you don't want to hurt yourself. Um, they're going to be careful when they're climbing. And if we give them the opportunity to stretch their wings and make their own judgments about risk, then they're going to learn how to judge risk. On the other hand, uh, much like I try to learn to judge risk while surfing, and occasionally it goes wrong. Um, honestly, these were small waves. Anyway, um, whereas, you know, and our children can climb on high stuff and, and look down and think, well, I'm scared, I'm not going to do that. Or sometimes they'll think, hey, you know what, I'm scared, but I'm going to try it. Um, and if you've ever watched children climb trees, it's terrifying um, because um, they go up real high and they feel confident and they're relaxed. And like, I've been up a tree with some democratic school kids and they're like, come up higher, Simon. And I'm like, uh, yeah, no, I'm scared. I'm going to stay right here, thanks. And these little kids were shooting up to the top of the tree. It was amazing. Um, our children know how to judge risk. And sometimes they make mistakes, but you can't learn without making mistakes. You can't learn to run without falling over occasionally. And so as parents, as teachers, educators, uh, I think we should try really hard not to hover on the, on, the, on the corner of our children's play going, be careful, don't do that, it's dangerous. Um, let them be the judges. And obviously this doesn't apply so much to uh, little toddlers. You know, I'm not talking about leaving your toddler climbing on the balcony. Um, I'm talking about as children get older, six, seven years old, and they're starting to stretch their wings in a way that y y where, where they are capable of judging. Okay? All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.